Hello friends, welcome back to Code tonight. In today's video, we will see how to implement PayPal gate payment gateway in ASP.NET Web MVC. So we have a ASP.NET MVC application here and we will see how we can integrate PayPal. So the first step is to install a Nugget package PayPal uh, from Nugget packages. Okay, so you can search PayPal here and you can look for 1.9.1 version uh, like you can see on the screen and install this version in your project. So once you're done installing the Nugget package, then the second step is we have to uh, add new file in the model paypalconfiguration.cs. Now this uh, file is basically that will get the client ID and client secret and uh, generate API contact for PayPal. Now we will also provide you the code with the video. So don't worry about that. We will just see uh, what uh, work it will do. Okay. So here you will see that we have used client ID and client secret from the app settings. So you can see in the web config, I have added client ID and client secret here. So you can change the, those uh, as per your credentials. So after you have done that, then the most important part to be seen here is the mode here. So if you are using sandbox credentials, then you have to put mode sandbox. If you are using production credentials, then you have to use mode live here. Okay, now it is at two places, so you will replace the live here also. And after that, uh, the live credentials will start working. Okay, so for the sandbox credential, we will just use the sandbox here. Okay, so don't worry about anything else. Now we will go to the home controller where we have write the uh, actions for the PayPal integration. Okay. So these three methods are here. The first method here is the one which we will call uh, on the button on which uh, we are trying to start the payment process. Okay. So currently I have set this up in the um, route config file as the default URL. So I don't need to click any button, but uh, uh, I will just change this to index here. So you can see how it is working. Okay. So now you will see that uh, this method will be the first one which will be called okay now it is getting the api contact from the file that we have seen earlier here it will check the pair id from the request parameters if it doesn't find the pair id then it will create a url on which it will redirect okay there it will start the paypal payment and after you done uh, the steps there then it will come back here in this code and it will execute payment from this method here you can see so we will see the exact where you can pass the amount and the items so here we have create payment method okay now here you can add the items which you want to uh, generate invoice for or which you want to add to the payment so you can add the item name here you can change the currency and price and quantity okay and there this will be the same for all the payments so you don't have to change that part however you can uh, divide the payment into multiple categories like tax shipping or subtotal okay so here you have to pass the total amount you can put the total amount from all those so you can sum of those and uh, you can put here and here you can give any description if you want to the transaction the most important is invoice number you have to make sure that it is getting generated unique every time if it is this is not unique in in every transaction then it will give error okay so that's why i have passed a new guid so it will generate the new value every time okay and then we are getting the payment here okay so now we will just run the application to see how it works So first you have to try with the sandbox credentials because all the settings are set to sandbox by default.
so guys in the end of the video i will let you know from where you can get the code and if the code works for you then don't forget to share the video and you can also mention if the video doesn't work for you uh, we can look for more solutions but uh, in most cases this will work directly without uh, any more changes So this is the home page here I have put one pay now button so on clicking on that uh, it will go to the method that we have just seen payment with PayPal okay so initially the payer ID will be null so it will go in the first condition and it will create one redirect link here okay so uh, we are just gonna see the link here so this is the payment redact url now it is using the sandbox.paypal.com you will not see this api anywhere this will be generated by the paypal configuration automatically on the basis of this mode sandbox or live okay so if you choose live here then it will create a different url okay now it will redirect on that url you can see on the browser that it is it will now redirect okay so now it is redirecting to paypal here you can log into your paypal account or you can choose pay with credit or debit card okay so now this will screen the screen will come you can enter the card details if you have any dummy card details okay but uh, for now i will show you a sample ones okay so i will choose united states here and in the card i have already one card details that i will enter and i will uh, provide you the card details along with the code so you can uh, you can test this easily without any issue okay so just remember that the details that i will provide will only work with the united states so you don't have to change that okay in the uh, name and billing address you have to fill the details from the USA only because we have to do your USA here okay now how you if you are from India and having confusion about how you will set the address here then you can search dummy USA address and here you will see the site random address in United States and from here you can copy any other details and that will work fine so I have chosen one detail from there and I am using that so you can off this option here and click on continue as cached so now if the credentials are working fine and if you don't have any issue with the details then it will go back to the same method okay that we have seen in the beginning and if the card details are wrong then it will show up a message there that the uh, card details are incorrect or cannot use that card okay so here you can see that uh, it will call the execute payment method and now in the execute payment method you will see the response that it have created a payment id and in the uh, you will also see transaction here okay now in the transaction you can see the item list and in the items you will see the item that you have just uh, added a card for okay now you will also see the amount here here you can see the amount and it is showing one usd okay so that is how you can see the amount now here you will see the state approved now this will only come if uh, you have no issue with the code if you have any issue with the code or like payment then it will go to the exception and there you will see the exception why it is failing okay so for now you can see the state is approved okay so the payment is done basically so um, this is how you can do paypal payments in asp.net web mvc okay so if you got any kind of con uh, question related to the payment integration or if you are failed to understand any point then you can comment on the video now coming to the most important part how you will get the code is uh, 
uh, I will also provide you direct link, but you can search courtnet.com. This is our official website. Okay. Here you can see different types of blog and if you want to see the one with PayPal, then you can search PayPal and here you will see PayPal integration in ASP.NET MVC. You can click on that link and here you will see the same code that we have just seen. Okay. So there are no changes than what we have seen in the video. So you can be sure about the results okay and you can click on the pay and download attachment link is that there will be a small small amount chargeable there and and just uh, you can check the code after downloading and you can use that directly okay so thanks for watching guys and let us know if you face any kind of issue with the blog or with the video and thanks for watching So one thing more I want to show here is I have added the card details that I have used in the video here. So you can uh, choose these card details uh, uh, for your card payment. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching and let us know for any issue.